you think with anatomy instruction? What do you guys think? Why can't you remember that stuff? A book is two-dimensional. What about all this fancy 3D imaging that we have like with apps? What's missing with that? You can't feel it in your body. I love that, Monica. That's such a huge deal. We have to be able to feel things and move things, feel things for ourselves for us to own them. So what we're going to learn today is the anatomy of external abdominal oblique, internal abdominal oblique, two very important core muscles. We're going to move into the upper extremity with serratus anterior and then go into the lower extremity with iliacus. And not only are we going to blast you with origin insertion, innervation, blood supply, action, right, that you're used to, but we're going to make you feel this for yourself, palpate for yourself, move for yourself. If your neighbor will let you palpate them, then palpate them, okay? <laughs> Now, we want to make sure that you bring this to life for yourself. Like Boris said, it's alive. Bring it into your own body. Don't let anatomy scare you. The reason why I became an anatomist is because anatomy really scared me. I took a seminar where we had to do a lot of movement, and I was like, ah, this is too much anatomy. And then most people, they just freak out and then abandon it, feeling they're not smart enough, they're not good enough, this is too dense. All the reasons why people give up on something. You are not any of those things. If I can learn anatomy, you guys can.